we're going to pull these covers off all the way down here. And the power that's in there will turn you into a puddle of liquid on the floor. We're going to shut off this 1965 main disconnect. It's Saturday afternoon. We've got to kill power to the entire building and then we're going to use the 10-foot tap rule from article 240. We're going to run a set of conductors, 250 case mill up into that 200 amp disconnect. You see, we could not acquire breaker standoff kit for this old piece of equipment. And so we're going to use the 10-foot tap rule, put 200 amps on this bus, and take care of a remodel upstairs with a new 200 amp three-phase sub-panel. So this thing is, from an electrical standpoint, almost as old as dirt. And the risk is we turn it off and that main breaker, when we're done, won't reset. That's my biggest fear. But right now we're doing the prep work so that when we kill power, we can get it back up quickly if up it comes. Caution, solar circuit. See what that label does? Is it alerts us to the fact that there's a photovoltaic array on the roof, which we installed actually. And we're gonna preventatively cut this breaker off as well. Um, so we'll shut off all the breakers, including this one. We'll essentially alleviate the building of all the load after we just check with our clamp meter to make sure there's not too much load on any one breaker. Because when you take a two or 400 amp breaker and if it's close to being fully loaded because of HVAC or there's an elevator here, just all kinds of different things, and you slam it to the off position, it's like your car on the interstate. You can go 75 and stop the brakes, and in fact, sometimes you, you must, but if that's habitual and without cause, it's just like holding a gun to your head, it's stupid. So we're going to check the load, shut off the breakers, make sure we turn off the photovoltaic circuit, and then we're gonna hit the main breaker, and then we're gonna reverse that sequence when we turn it back on. It's gonna be fun. I've already verified that this is de-energized with my multimeter here because you never know on an old building if there could be backfeeding circuits. For instance, one of these circuits could be connected upstairs to one of the circuits on this panel and you could get backfed currents that make this lethal. Installing our 200 amp fuses. they're fully seated. Pull this down. I want as much connect conductivity and connectivity as possible. Oh, too far. There it is. I'm happy with that. Okay. Let's put our connector here in the bottom. I've got obstructions here. I've got plywood on top of concrete, particularly with this three inch EMT or thin wall pipe. So I'm gonna be using two inch metal flex, potentially sliding back there depending on what the fit is. And then coming in the bottom left of this cabinet, somewhere in this vicinity. But I'll take the covers off before I determine my target there. We've scoped this out ahead of time. So all materials are here and ready for me. The prep work that could be done, i.e. this disconnect terminations, has already, was already accomplished during the week so that our Saturday cutover time, time away from family, minimized. This building is in use seven days a week, so uh, there are even a couple people here today, but this is about off peak as it can get. So the church, school, daycare, CDC, Community Development Corporation. There's that. Let's see what we're gonna get here. Yeah. Look at that. It's gonna be a fight. Let's bring it from this direction. And actually, let's use that end because that's the already been cut and trimmed and filed. Ugh, there's nothing there. Ugh. It's custom made, a millimeter shy. Well, we'll go back to that plan. 
All right, T, go ahead and hold that whip just, just to my left here, this corrugated pipe, this flex. Hold that. Yep. Last little bit, it's vibrating too much for the saw, so we'll snip it off. And... No, you can pull it out of the way. All right, I brought the boss guys. There's Malachi, Zeke. Hell, no, no, you guys get in here. Just be right back where you were. Boss man. No, I don't want to be in. Just stand the right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's perfect. Well, no. I bought the I brought the boss guys with me today. Malachi, Zeke, you've seen them before, and Titus. Boom. So, guys, super, super important. This is life and death. Listen carefully. We're gonna pull these covers off all the way down here, and the power that's in there will turn you into a puddle of liquid on the floor if you accidentally brush against it. You got me? All right, everybody, step back. Covers are coming off. Captive screws, good for them. Um, we gotta make sure we get these back. They are unique. Okay. Yeah. I want to make sure each none of the faces were the same. That, my friends, is probably the best commercial three-phase surge suppressor you can buy. I'm sure that's going to cause tremendous argument in the comment section, but have at it. Okay. Okay. We're trying these uh, lugs on for size. We're a 250 casing mill neutral, which will be a white conductor, and it's going to fit right there in an existing hole. And we've got a number uh, six copper grounding conductor, and that's gonna fit right there. So I like it. Take a look at this, these standoff kits right here. See these, they secure to each phase. And so we were able to secure a breaker on eBay, but we couldn't get these guys, these copper braces or uh, Z brackets. Hence, utilization of Article 240, 10 foot tap rule. It uh, not for, tap rules are not for amateurs. Don't try it. Okay, Malachi, you can join me over here. We're just gonna shove them through here. Let's try to get this. Well, we'll see. You can just hold that still. He's got gloves on. Yeah. Good job. Nice. Okay. Well, I can do anything with that end, but this end, we'll go ahead and bring it in where it's gonna go. And Sam did a nice job on this. You guys have met Sam before. side of the disconnect, the utility side of the equation is always the top side. So we're going to bring our conductors in, even though that would have been real convenient, it would have been incorrect. So this is the outgoing set of conductors and down here on the load side. And we've got to cross them here, which given our space constraints, couldn't come through the bottom with an LB. So it'll get crowded, but that's, it's going to be just fine. All right, we're gonna follow the same color coding patterns, um, black, red, blue. And we're gonna land blue first. Boom, that's it. All right, now kind of hold that because the weight is gonna want it to fall back out. I heard a plumber say that you're supposed to only go one direction with the wire brush, but I've never heard an electrician say that. So I get there may be a rationale when you're soldering copper, but I'd like to know, what do you guys think? One direction or Omnidirectional, what's best and what's okay. Okay, let's finalize our prep work before we get into that main cabinet. We're super close and we're gonna transition uh, into the cab, but I'm gonna tell you this is one of the most important things I'm gonna say all day. Shut the cabinet. So when you stand back up, you don't smack your head on the corner. <laughs> caution, caution.
I think that's our target right there. Unless, no, we can't because of the door. So we'll come in low and that'll be good for neutrals and grounds. And then we'll bend up and we'll terminate right there. Okay, all right, let's, it's getting pretty stiff. So in my prep work, I had all my batteries on the charger at home. Guess where all my batteries are still? <laughs> Except this one that didn't need to be charged. They're still on the charger at home, all fresh and topped off. And so it's uh, just one of those little things. But right now I'm at two bars out of three, we'll see. Woo, there it is. Okay, a couple of things to note. Turn down the torque on your drill. These things are so powerful. You avoid smashing the back of your hand into the edge of the cabinet. Use two hands. Be kind to yourself, wear eye protection and uh, hearing protection wouldn't be bad either. I don't know if you could hear how loud that was. Hmm, I'm actually need to cut these now. Let's do that. Let's cut these. Okay, get this stuff out of here. We are fully prepped. It's time to de-energize power. We're gonna take all these breakers to the off position and then we're gonna tackle the hog at the top and probably have to put two hands on it and shove. Hopefully we don't break off the brittle plastic. So here we go. Everybody look away. Oh, that was anticlimactic. You know what, I did say I was gonna check and make sure none of these had massive load on them. So let's do that. Nope. Let's try that one. 4.72. 5.5, 8.95. What are we reading there, Zeke? Ty, can you uh, see it? Five. Is it bouncing around? Uh, Just give me a rough. It's is it about, about five? Eight, eight, one. It's about 582. See that little point right there? That's very important. It means 5.4, which is very small. If it was like that one, if it was 607, that'd be huge. And we would have to go find the panel and start shutting stuff off there. 20 amps, that's fine. Three, 33, there's our most heavily loaded leg thus far. Ooh, I don't know what we can get in there. 10, 11, 12. Let's try this one down here. That's our neutral, but if the neutral is not loaded, it's not real likely that all the other legs are perfectly balanced. Ah. We can't do two at a time. Okay. Here we go. Look away. Because you never know if there's going to be an arc. There are lights. It could be a bright flash. Here's another one. Boom. All right. Here's another one. Oof. There's more. All right. Did we get them all? There's that one. He didn't. I think I'm going to leave it. That newer one's real crisp. Let's check this. It's at 16. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay, that was fine. Now let's check and just make sure it actually did de-energize things. Get in here, back to volts AC. And Titus, we'll use our little trick here. Just hang it right there. And we're gonna go phase to phase, phase to ground. And that's a functional zero, zero, zero. Okay, it's time to go. Okay, these two are coming down. These three are going up, so this is where it's gonna be nice and slow. These connectors are not real robust, which is a big reason for minis, as well as being code. All right, let's try it with all the wire in it. Oh, it's gonna be and that's where it's gonna go, right there. Pull out a Sharpie. Yeah. All right, all right. Our quarter inch tap cons, which we like so much. Nice dry basement wall, really doesn't see any water because there's hard surface right here on the outside of the building sloping away from the structure. Good runoff. All right, in it goes. Kind of serpentine here. 
Man, quote of the day, to educate a man in mind and not in morals is to create a menace to society. Ooh, Theodore Roosevelt. It's over 100 years old, I believe. Killer. The grouping of these conductors is readily evident, so I don't need any additional wire ties, zip ties, or identifications. But I would like to leave a note. Well, no. We'll just label that cabinet. That'll be for the guys when they come back and continue on the remodel. Okay, just landing our first conductor here. I tend to have the same logical progression most of the time, ground neutral hots, as far as order of termination and that consistency helps, helps me through the distractions of my own mind, the work day, etc. It's just good to have a consistent routine. Well, we've got a fan running in the building, so we're just rechecking power and everything is de-energized. Um, so it could be it's coming off an adjacent building. Could be there. I'm not aware of another service on this. I thought there was just the one. You know, I bet there are two feeds from outside and this is the other one. But that's what's going on here. We'll check, we'll check it out outside. Solid. All right, now it gets a little harder with these. All right, I like it. Um, the bend is very intentional. I've got an S bend, and it's going to lie right across the face of that. That's an, uh, yeah, it's a mild insulator, but at least it's a smooth steel surface behind that. What I don't want is it crammed in here, sitting up against those edges. Man, I've seen that stuff wear through over time because buildings do vibrate. So that, that is where that is going to rest. It's time to mount our mechanical lugs in here. Let's uh, let's do it. Even though you know it's de-energized, it's still a little bit there. Yeah. Nobody yell boom. So if someone gets entangled in live power, what you want to do is remove them while insulating yourself so that you don't become a conductive path. So a dive tackle, a sharp kick, a wooden two by four, a, a smack to the head with a fiberglass ladder, any and all of the above. That's just so you guys know in case something goes wrong. That's smack me in the head. So the the goal here is to have surfaces that are clean, maximize conductivity um, by setting these um, mechanical lugs in the left hole. So I've got just maximum surface contact and uh, that's it. Uh, if there's rocket science to it, I don't know it. So I'm gonna put, probably put this one down, this one up a little bit and that one up a little bit more. There's some masonry on that bus. So th this is called the bus back here, these conductive plates. They're too thick. They're already uh, drilled and tapped and we just threw bolted to them. So I'm gonna just put that right there. I can get a lot tighter with the ra ratchet on the back side than the screwdriver on the front side. Massive difference. Oh, I'll probably just shear it off too if I'm not careful. Uh, tighten, loosen, wiggle, tighten. Get a good seat. It's all about conductivity, surface area. Here's the deal. We're not an engineering channel. I'm not a scientist. That's not what we do. At Electric Pro Academy, it's real skills to make real money, but we're not done yet, so stick around. Let's see if this thing comes back up. Let's get this power re-energized because we got people showing up at six and we got a ball game to go to with the kids. Okay, you guys ready? Yep. Here goes. First, it's the main. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, that sounded good. Let's do this big boy. Three, two, one. Ah, it's almost uh, full strength. Okay. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Yes. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Ah. Oh, so anticlimactic, dang. If you're interested in the intricacies of three-phase commercial power start to finish, check out this video in the card here and subscribe to Electric Pro Academy for real skills to make real money.